All right, July 16, 2022. Mortgages are up. Payments on mortgages are up since January of 2020, 85%. 85%. Gas is up about 100% since January of 2020. I know I was paying about 220, 210 in that range in Midwest area about two years ago. And right now it's about 430, 440, so exactly 100% rise. Now we did have a drop from about 480, 490 to about 430, 420 range. So about 60 to 70 cent drop, which is pretty nice considering we were, like I said, right around $5. But nonetheless, gas is up 100%. Those freaks in office will continue celebrating as they are successfully fighting inflation, okay? They're also going to talk about strong dollar, of course. It doesn't matter that every time you go to the store, you need more and more dollars to buy same goods or pay for services twice as much as just a couple of weeks ago. That doesn't matter, I guess. Um, as long as we see you know, the dollar index, the Dixie doing really well, uh, that means it's a strong dollar. Also, so that's another big lie, deception. A third one, which is a really big one, is now jobless claims going down, meaning unemployment going down, jobs skyrocketing. Why? Because people have to go back to work. Why? Look what happened with cryptos. Look what happened with tech stocks. People's 401ks slashed in half. In some cases, a lot more than half. They got to go back to workforce. A lot of people that did not participate in the markets have to go back into workforce because they can't make ends meet because of inflation, because of the strong dollar, get it? So these lies keep piling up and they keep piling up. This is a major problem. A lot of people be, will be out in the streets rioting pretty soon. It is going to happen. You've got to have your security in order. You've got to get away from cities as quick as possible. As you know, this channel is not to scare you. This channel is to prepare you. This is inevitable. Is it imminent? I don't know. Well, nobody knows exactly when real shit is going to hit the fan, but we will see Mad Max scenario happening because uh, I, I don't see one policy coming out of the Federal Reserve and the White House that makes sense. Okay, It's crisis after crisis after crisis. You cannot keep up with it. That's just the bottom line. I wanted to do a video today just to uh, kind of like uh, switch gears a little bit. I wanted to show you guys how we got drought out here down south. You can see all this was lush green grass about five weeks ago or so and now it's just brown. It's, it's dead. Check it out. Look at this. It's almost burned to the ground in a way. It's almost turning gray really really wild uh, i think uh, there is drought happening in many parts of the country right now hopefully we'll get some rain but it doesn't look good it looks like we're looking at for the next 10 days 40 percent chance of rain on monday that's that's all we're getting so um time to get some hay and uh, back to hustle and see what we can do so uh, hopefully uh, that will change some things like this uh, do happen and if you guys are new into uh, farming ranching whatever it is make sure you got some good connections uh, with hay people or hopefully you can do hay yourself i haven't gotten to that point yet hopefully soon um, we will talk soon take care prepare 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 tangibles in your possession intangibles will lose big time in this decade this is not investing advice this is just what i see you do your own due diligence take care and we will talk soon i'm out